Hi, I'm releasing this series of videos basically to help you with regards to MBA CT. This specific video is uh, what you should do one day before MBA CT exam. Important because that can create a lot of difference with regards to the way you react, the psychology of the exam, etc. So what to do one day before the MBA CT exam? Now this is my perspective. So let's try to understand. One, I normally tell people to avoid mocks. Because we don't know what, I mean, one thing is mock writing is itself tiresome. So we don't want to go to the exam being tired for the, as such. Okay. Also, if you don't score well in the mock, there is a high chance that it could create a little pressure in the exam. Though I don't think the mock scores are related to the actual exam. I've seen people who have scored very low in the mock, last mock that they wrote, but still manage a normal score in the exam, a good score in the exam. So your last mock score will not determine how much, how will you perform. But yes, avoid because it could create you know, psychological you know, pressure with regards to uh, the whole exam. So normally avoid, just because the whole pressure could you know, create a problem as far as the exam is concerned. And normally recommend people to do what you like. If you want to watch movies, watch movies, video games, you know, do what you like. Okay, as far as there's no harm in doing. I would but recommend that during the whole thing, just read. That's very important. Maybe. When the exam is at a time of the exam, which is there, okay, read. You can read novels, magazines, etc. But yeah, do what you like. It is more or less to keep you, you know, relaxed as far as the exam is concerned. I remember when I wrote my first CT exam, I've repeated this exam many number of times. I watched a movie, okay, almost till 2-3 o'clock in the night. The next morning was the exam. But the idea of watching the movie was I love watching movies and it relaxed me, it put my mind off the CT exam. And that helped me to relax to some extent. Okay, and that also helped me to perform really well in the exam in the next day. Yeah, so lack of sleep was not a problem, but my mind was relaxed. Mentally, you need to be more, you know, prepared for the exam. So that's the reason you should do what you like. Okay, reading should be one part of it. Do read. Okay, but apart from reading, you can do a lot of things. You have the whole day at you and do what you like. Enjoy so that your mind is off the exam. Be active during the time of exam. So you have an exam time which is there. Let's say 9.30 to 12 or whatever your exam time is there. At that particular time, try to be as active as possible. As I said, at that particular time, you can maybe spend time on reading. That's one possible time. Or do something at least. I mean, don't sleep at that point of time. Ensure that you're active during the time of the exam. There's something called the biological clock which is there. We normally tend to do everything at the same time. So if you sleep on one day at a particular time, you feel sleepy on the next day at the same time. So that means try to be active during the time of the exam. It definitely helps. So, you know, be a, one way to be active is read, but you can do anything else that you want to do. And uh, try to be, don't sleep, don't lazy around at that point of time. Be active during the time of the exam. Important. Also, if you really want to prepare, you can revise the notes. You must have made a lot of notes over your preparation like analysis of your previous mocks, notes on topics, or some formulas, or whatever you made some notes, you can go to those notes. For some part of the time of the day, maybe pick up the pre whole notes that you have created and just go through it. That is what you can prepare for. Don't do anything new. You can revise the previous things. You can go to the previous questions, etc. Maybe few new questions of the type of questions are already solved. That is also fine. But don't try to get into new type of questions and new thing in the last moment. Right, just go through the previous things, and that should be sufficient as far well as possible. So, if you're able to do this, okay, what I mentioned out here, I think that should suffice as far as the exam is concerned. Don't you know get into activity which is uh, may lead to stress. For example, talking with your friends who are writing a CT exam, and they say, "Oh, have you done this topic?" and you say, "Oh, I have not done this topic," and coming under pressure. But okay, you have written mocks, you have prepared, you have done your best till now. So just go in the exam and write your mock. Now there's an exception obviously. You have not written any mock so far. Maybe you can write a mock one day before the exam. Okay. Or something on that. But normally for a person who is well prepared for the exam or who has prepared, given enough time for preparation, I think following this is sufficient as far as the day before exam is concerned. I hope that helps. All the best for the exam. I'll have more videos that will coming up. Videos like what to do during the exam, what to do on a day of the exam. Okay, for people who are not from slot one, what should they do? So all that, I will come up with different videos that should hopefully help you to for the exam. All the best and thank you.